Let me show you a method how to highlight body parts in CapCut. You can use the same method to highlight anything in your video and direct viewers attention to specific detail. As you can see, I have already imported the video we'll be using today, which I got from pexels.com and it's free to use. I want to point out that I'll leave all the materials in the link in the description so you can download them and practice what you'll see today. In this video, we'll highlight the shoulder muscles when they're most tense. Move the playhead to the moment when the arms are at the highest position and click this freeze icon. This will freeze the moment we will highlight the shoulders. Then go to the top right, click these three lines and select export still frames. Rename your file and click export. This will download the image to your computer as we'll process it with another program. I usually use Photoshop, but if you don't have Photoshop, you can use the free option, which is called Photopia, as the process and the result are exactly the same. As I mentioned, I'll be using Photoshop. First, create a document with size of 1920.1080 and choose a transparent background. Then open the image we exported from CapCut and drag it into the newly created document. Go to the bottom right corner, click this plus sign to create a new layer. Then go to the top left and select this polygonal lasso tool to highlight the shoulders. First, outline the left shoulder and choose a color to fill it. I'll choose red. Then select paint bucket tool and click on the highlighted shoulder to fill it with the color. Repeat the same with the right shoulder. Then zoom in on the image to make it easier and select the eraser tool. Set the size to around 70 and hardness to about 15. Then gently erase around the red color just to remove the sharp edge. Do the same for the right shoulder. Next, zoom out on the image, deactivate the two bottom layers so only the two red dots remain. Go to export, save for web and save the image on your computer as PNG. Now go back to CapCut and copy the frozen part using Ctrl or Command plus C and Ctrl or Command plus V. Next, import the image we created in Photoshop, drag it on top of both frozen parts and shorten it to the same length. Then move to the right to blend, select the soft light option and reduce the opacity to about 80. We'll add animation, go up to animation, under the in tab select the fade in animation and under Out, choose Fade Out Animation. Next, copy the lower frozen clip one more time. Go to Adjustments and reduce the saturation to about 25. Move to the curve and adjust the Luma Graph to about here. Go back to the video, Basic, still having the lower frozen clip selected. Move the playhead to this arrow that marks the end of the animation and click keyframe on opacity. Then move the playhead to the beginning of the clip and reduce the opacity to zero. Repeat the same for the end of the clip. Move to here, click keyframe at 100%, then go to the end of the clip and one frame back and reduce the opacity to zero again. And if we play it now, we have something like this. Now we'll stretch the timeline a bit and move the playhead a little further from this arrow to avoid removing the animation since we'll be cutting the clip. This is because we want to create a flicker effect. Move 5 frames forward and cut the clip again by clicking Ctrl or Command plus B. Repeat this 5 more times. We can stretch the timeline a bit more 
then delete every other clip. Let's play it once more. Then select everything, right click and create a compound clip. Now we'll create a zoom effect. Move to the beginning of this clip, click keyframe on transform, then go to about here, increase the scale to 130, move the clip slightly down and click keyframe on transform again. Move the playhead to here, click keyframe on transform, go to the end and one frame back, reduce the scale to 100%, drag the clip to the center and click keyframe on transform again. Finally we can make zoom transition even smoother by right clicking, show keyframe animation, click on scale, select keyframe. Choose Auto Curve and do the same for the other keyframe. In the end, you should get something like this. If you liked that video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe so you don't miss the next one.